a capacitor is given with capacitance 900 picofarad. It is charged to 100 volt supply. Capacitor is disconnected from the battery and connected to another uncharged capacitor of capacitance 600 picofarad. Calculate the first one electrostatic energy stored in the capacitor before sharing common potential after sharing energy stored in the system of two capacitors after sharing what's the reason for the difference in the energy in the two cases in the last part the percentage change in the energy in the process of sharing so the first one electrostatic energy stored in the capacitor before sharing before sharing the capacitor is only 900 picofarad and 100 volt so the energy stored in a capacitor is half cv square half c1 v1 square directly the values can be substituted half into 900 into 10 raise to minus 12 the picofarad into farad conversion 100 square so 100 square is 10 to 4 these two zeros 10 to 6 so total 10 to minus 6 9 by 2 4.5 4.5 into 10 to minus 6 2 that's the answer for the first part now common potential after sharing when this capacitor is connected to another uncharged capacitor charge flow from higher potential means 100 volt to lower potential zero potential till the potentials of both capacitors are equal the flow of charge stops only when potential of capacitor 1 is same as potential of capacitor 2 like heat flow from higher temperature to lower temperature and stops when temperature is the same charge always flow from higher potential to lower potential until the potentials become equal so after sharing both capacitors 900 picofarad and 600 picofarad will have the same potential charge may be different but the potential will be same so no charge is lost or added into the system the charge already stored in the first capacitor is partially transferred to the second capacitor that means total charge before sharing has to be same as total charge after sharing so total charge before sharing will be c1 v1 plus c2 v2 in this particular case v2 is zero because second capacitor is uncharged there can be cases both capacitors charged in the beginning so that time we use c1 v1 plus c2 v2 after sharing it will be c1 with v and c2 with v because after sharing the potential will be same for both the capacitors q1 becomes c1 v1 q2 becomes c2 v2 q1 dash becomes c1 v q2 dash also c2 v because potential is same after sharing from that you can take v common out on the right side then c1 c2 will go left side so c1 v1 plus c2 v2 divided by c1 plus c2 will give you the common potential now you can substitute the values v2 is 0 here so c1 is 900 v1 is 100 so c1 plus c2 will be 900 plus 600 so since capacitor is there on the numerator and denominator it is not important to convert peak of add into 10 to minus 12 because both conversions get cancelled in the numerator and denominator So 900 into 100 plus 600 into 0 because second capacity is uncharged divide 900 plus 600 so, so 100 the two zeros get cancelled common here so 900 by 15 uh, that be equal to 60 volt so this is a common potential after sharing second part now energy stored in the system of two capacitors after sharing now both the capacitors have charge and potential so you can add half c1 v square plus half c2 v square v is common because both have same potential after sharing direct substitution c1 is 900 or uh, c2 is 600 uh, here you have to convert 
you co fed into 10 to minus 12 v square or uh, 60 square 60 into 60 3600 so two zeros here common out two zeros here so 10 days to 4 and 10 days to minus 8 finally 10 days to minus 8 minus 12 plus 4 half of 9 is 4.5 a half of uh, not 9 9 and 6 we added 15 half of 36 is 80 18 into 15 9 plus 6 the two zeros common out these two zeros 10 to 4 make 10 to minus 12 as 10 to minus 8 so half into 36 is 18 18 into 15 into 10 to minus 8 uh, 15 into 18 will be 270 270 into 10 to minus 8 will become 2.7 into 10 to minus 6 degrees. That's the energy stored in the system of two capacitors after sharing. It's very clear the energy is less in the uh, process after sharing. Before sharing, it is 4.5 into 10 to minus 6. After sharing, it becomes 2.7 into 10 to minus 6. Let's this part account for the difference in the energy in the two cases. The charge always flow from higher potential to lower potential. During that process of flowing, the wire gets heated up. So, energy is lost in the form of heat and other radiations. So, that is the energy lost and that is why the final energy after sharing becomes less compared to the initial energy. The difference is due to the energy lost because of the heat and other radiations. And the last part, percentage change in energy. Always percentage change in energy will be final minus initial divided by initial into 100 percentage sign. So, final we have 2.7 into 10 to minus 6. Initial we have 4.5 into 10 to minus 6. Again 4.5 into 10 to minus 6. So, 10 to minus 6 is common. So, final 2.7 minus initial 4.5 divided by 4.5 into 100 percentage. 2.7 minus 4.5 27.45 will be uh, 18. 1.8 by 4.5. So, 18 by 45 if you adjust the decimal point. It's a negative sign. 18 by 45 is 2 by uh, 2 by 5. 5945, 2918. So, 2 by 5 is 0 0.4 in the 140 percent. The negative sign indicates energy is lost in the process. So the first option energy stored in the first capacitor before sharing. Now the second one potential after sharing. The potential after sharing. Uh, you may use the direct formula if you remember. The uh, energy is stored in the system after sharing, the third part. And the reason for energy loss, heat and radiation, and the percentage change in the energy between the two things. 